There are fishing reality shows, lifestyle reality shows, and reality TV shows about car restoration. But given the risks involved, fishing reality shows stand out from the others. One of the 99 ways to die is Alaskan crab fishing. But guess what? Over the years, the Deadliest Catch Shows team has continued to provide us with excellent content. So it should come as no surprise that the fans have become close to the crew members, given that hosting a fishing show from 2005 to 2022 is not quite a piece of cake. Among these crew members, Josh Harris has enjoyed a huge fan base over the years, and despite his life difficulties over the years alongside his father's death, Bill Harris, he hasn't quit going for gold. But what happened to Josh Harris? And what's he been up to? If you want to know all about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. And let's get started. The fact that commercial fishing is a risky business is well known, and the deadliest catch is no exception. In reality, the show featured a number of shipwrecks that had tragically claimed many lives and destroyed a great deal of property throughout the years. Harris has fortunately managed to withstand the turmoil. Harris has kept his vitality despite the death of his captain father, Bill Harris. Following their parents' divorce, Josh and his brother Jake were introduced to the fishing lifestyle at a very young age. The two boys' father, Phil, took care of them, which explains why they were raised on fishing boats constantly. After that, it didn't take long for them to start working as deckhands aboard their father's ships. And Harris in particular hasn't looked back since. He admitted that for a short while after his father's passing, he started to dislike fishing. But he was aware that he has a family to support, for which he is solely responsible. He could not, therefore, maintain his animosity towards fishing for very long. His perseverance finally paid off in 2013, when he obtained his captain's license and took his first position as a ship's co-captain. On the other hand, Josh has been working to preserve the legacy his father left behind, and is still very much involved in the fishing industry. Josh is also maintaining the boat that his father shared ownership of. Following his father's passing, Josh took over the administration of Cornelia Marie, sharing ownership with skipper Casey McManus. As Casey McManus wasn't part of the 13th season of Deadliest Catch, which seldom happens, fans were curious about Cornelia McManus's location. I guess this information will answer questions pertaining to the whereabouts of Cornelia McManus, as fans were concerned when Casey McManus wasn't featured on the 13th season of Deadliest Catch, which rarely happens. The circumstances surrounding the vessel's disappearance on the show are still unclear. Meanwhile, following fans' questions, Josh put out a post on Facebook at the time, claiming that not appearing in the season's Deadliest Catch wasn't his decision, but discoveries. The disappearance of the vessel didn't sit well with fans of the show. Some of them were depressed about it, while others vented their rage toward executives of the Discovery Channel. In the end, it seemed that audience outcry has produced some results, as Josh revealed that Cornelia and its cast would return to the show in 2017. As a result, Josh and Captain Casey made the decision to give the ship a facelift in 2019. Casey and the new Cornelia Marie, a special episode, featured this makeover. The outcome of the renovation provided the ship with a fresh appearance, and contemporary amenities including propellers, radar systems, and a wheelhouse were added. The audience was shocked to learn that Josh no longer shares command of the ship with Captain Casey McManus after the upgrades. Honestly, there is no animosity between the two, because Josh voluntarily gave up the captaincy. And it is important to note that Josh continues to be more involved with Cornelia Marie than Casey McManus. Then, in 2021, Captain John Hillstrand offered Josh the position of co-captain of the Time Bandits. Josh was initially hesitant to accept the offer from Skipper Hillstrand and questioned whether leaving his own ship was a wise decision. He ultimately agreed because the agreement had a time limit and he could always resume on the Cornelia Marie after it expired. Also, he thought of Captain Hillstrand and his family. He was close to Josh's late father, Captain Phil, in addition to being his friend. The fact that the Time Bandit required extra hands is another factor. At the time, Captain John Hillstrand, second in command, was down with COVID and could not join the fishing season. Then Josh discussed his plans with Casey 
and he agreed to his decision. So those who are concerned that Josh will neglect the ship need not worry. He will resume his role as captain of the Cornelia Marie. Moreover, Josh is still an active participant in the Deadliest Catch and is getting better at it. He was a member of the cast of the Discovery spin-off series Bloodlines Major Lead in 2021. He and the rest of the team are followed throughout the spin quest-offs for Phil Harris's fishing guides in Hawaii. Meanwhile, in attempting to catch all the crabs they could that season, the search carried them through the large Hawaiian islands. Likewise, Josh's relationship with his brother is also improving, as it has transformed from being distant to being amicable. Apart from this, we are all aware of the various legal troubles Jake has faced. But throughout it all, Josh has been a kind big brother to Jake, guiding him toward recovery. Throughout the holiday season, the pair were spotted out and about and captured on camera. Adding to this, Josh has also been a proud father to Kinsey Ella, his only kid. Josh makes an effort to be a good father to his kid, despite all the ups and downs that come with crab fishing in the Alaskan Sea. However, it is unsure if Josh still maintains his relationship with the mother of his child, Jenna Bullis. But what is really noticeable is how happy he always appears on several Instagram posts staying by his daughter's side. Now, it is common knowledge that when it comes to popular individuals, money is unquestionably one of the issues people have a strong yearning for. Because the salaries in this type of show are sometimes kept a secret, and the interest increases by two or even three times if it involves a reality star. Although we're sure you're all wondering what Josh's net worth is, we thought it would be a good idea to let you know that the amount we have on hand is not official. However, Josh is thought to have a net worth of about $80,000, thanks to his appearances on television, the money he made from Cornelia Marie's fishing season, and the inheritance he received from his late father. The speculation is that some deckhands make as much as $30,000 per show season as crew members on the deadliest catch, while the captains make a more significant chunk of $50,000 as salaries. That means that Josh is making that amount if not more, meaning he makes a good amount of money from his appearance on the show, which is not bad. Another stream of income for Josh is the earnings he makes from his commercial fishing business. According to reports, Josh makes $80,000 from commercial fishing each year, so it's safe to state that he is in a good financial situation. Well, if there is one thing we just cannot dispute, it is the staggering success of the deadliest catch. Our definition of success goes beyond mere popularity or television viewership. Rather, it centers on the show's remarkably high number of nominations which over the years have totaled between 100 and 128 prizes. However, the deadliest catch has seen its fair share of negative reputations surrounding reality television shows, despite being renowned for its production quality and content. Josh and Jake being accused of being on the ship simply to appear on television must be one such scenario. This accusation dates back to 2011, when Derek Ray was interviewed and said that the Harris brothers took over Cornelia May's seat after Phil Harris passed away with an excessively negative attitude. Jake had, in Derek Ray's words, acted in a way that endangered the ship. Josh, however, lacked talent, and he had little interest in pursuing a career in the fishing industry. But in a subsequent episode of After the Catch, the two brothers confronted Derek. They explained how Derek Ray's assessment of them was inaccurate and unfair. Regardless, the audience clung to Derek's assertion, and the confrontation came too late. Josh had trouble regaining the audience's faith after that, but Josh has been making every effort to carry on his father's legacy, despite the fact that many people are still aware of the tragedy. As for the future, Josh will ensure that Phil's legacy is not forgotten anytime soon at least not before writing a book about him or looking for the missing pieces of Phil's past in Hawaii. That's all for today. If you are interested in more, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.